So I'm just asking, um, basically right now we're using Facebook Live, and it seems that we could use uh, Sermon Audio instead to broadcast on that. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out how that happens. So what I would show you then is if I'm still on the dashboard here, you can see my screen still, you would go to the webcast manager. In the webcast manager, and this is now built into every account. This used to be an extra feature, an extra paid feature. It's now built into every account. And I should add that we don't have any kind of limits. So whether you have 10 people watching or let's say 1,000 people watching, we don't have any kind of limits like that. We don't tier it, the price, if you have a lot more people watching then somehow you get penalized. So we'd like to try to keep it that way as long as we can. So it's a it's a very simple, flat, easy to predict way of using webcasting. So in this section, you have a stream key. So you just copy that key and you bring it into OBS or any other streaming software, software or hardware that you're using. And here is the the URL that you push the stream to. So these two pieces of information is all you need. We have a convenient way for you to copy some code or a link for people to watch your webcast. So if you copy that and you pull up another window, it just takes you to here. It's just a plain Jane vanilla. It's just, it's just webcast. There's nothing around it. There's no wrappers. There's nothing. It's a very nice way to do that. By the way, this also works. This is a QR code, so you're welcome to copy that, have people scan that, and take them straight to there. And of course, if you have a website, you can click on the embed webcast link, and that takes you to our embed editor for the webcast. And there it is. This is what it's going to look like. And you can have things like make sure it auto plays. Maybe I just want it to be.